this is DH Dunn, and I'm here to ask you a very basic question. Can you survive in the long dark without fire? The answer is no. No. Long term, I'm very confident you can't survive in the long dark without fire. But can you survive for 10 days without fire? That's what I'm going to try to test here. I have no idea. I have not tried this. Um, so basically my idea here is that fire is such an incredibly important element in the long dark, particularly at the interloper difficulty level or Nagoa or anything past that, that, um, you know, when you generally start that, like first on your list is matches. Where am I going to get matches? Picking up flares. Um, and, you know, fire striker is an incredibly important find. Mag lens is an incredibly important find. I cannot fathom a long interloper run without using fire sources. But I think maybe you could live 10 days. And I think the interesting thing, besides just the interesting question of can you do it, because it's always interesting to just ask a question and see if you can answer it, is by emphasizing those other skills that you will need, uh, can you get past this? Uh, you know, you're definitely, you know, the big things are water and wolf management. So, you know, without any fire source, you're going to be dependent on sodas and, and things that you find in addition to toilets toilets are huge in this in this case um so depending on where we spawn that could go well or it could go badly uh on top of that um with wolves you're gonna have to be or i am gonna have to be much more careful about where wolves are and using a lot of rocks to try to distract them and you know just or generally just walk them around which is something i've been trying to do more in my interloper play anyway is to not always assume that if a wolf is growling and you know has engaged me okay get the torch out drop the torch get the rock like i'm finding i don't always have to do that and that's kind of where this started was i'm like you know maybe you could just kind of ignore them so that's what we're going to try no idea if this is going to work my plan for this is to do two days part two day parts so day one and day two will be part one day two, three and four will be part two etc etc i'm gonna try this with um on interloper difficulty in a random spawn having said that i think i would re-roll black rock if i got it and that's only because my map knowledge on black rock is not very strong and this isn't a map knowledge challenge like i don't want to fail the challenge because i don't know the map so let's just get into it so we're going to go to survival and we'll go to new and interloper go astrid because i generally always do astrid now for feet is there any way we can make this go a little better for us we don't need fire master that's for sure i'm a big fan of, of cold fusion it's kind of hard to not take cold fusion Past that, Bishop Machine is 10% less calories. Printing burns less calories. Stamina charge recharging. I don't know that any of these particularly help me. So I think I'll go Blizzard Walk because I just get so frustrated walking into the wind. Um, and we're going to say, can I lope no water? Except it's no fire. <laughs> will accept uh, the game is thinking about it there we go this is my first ever offline long dark play I really never play the long dark offline and I've never done a YouTube specific series I've noticed with the recent update patch they don't tell you where you are anymore it used to be the top, top left hand side of the screen you would get a notification of what map you are on I believe this is Timberwolf Mountain. Let's check. Yes, I am right. Now, not not the best place to spawn, to be honest. I want to get to um, uh, Pleasant Valley as quickly as I can. I'm not great on the mountain. I need to get down from the mountain. ASAP. It's a nice fall day out here today. Here in Maine, so uh, I'm in the mood for this kind of weather. I have goaded this. 
Not this. This, this doesn't look very bad, though. I want to get to Mountaineers as quickly as I can. It's funny. I do a thing on Twitch. Many of you probably know this called Will Stand Still, where I spawn Will in various locations on Interloper difficulty level. I use custom so that he can spawn in, like, you know, Mountain Town and stuff. And um, then I just kind of stand him there so that I can write, and I use him as a writing sprint timer. Um, because of that, I'm very familiar with, like, the immediate spawn locations of a lot of them. I can very quickly say which map I'm in, just because, you know, I, every session I see, like, four or five of them. It is interesting to me that they took that away. I wonder why they took that away. I should look and see if that even got into a patch note, that they don't tell you what map you're in. I'm pretty sure they're not even telling you on Voyager anymore. It's very interesting. All right, now having said all of the things that I have said, I'm not 100% where I'm going. I know the route to the summit, but I only know the route to the summit. I don't know the route from the summit. I've never gone from the summit down. I just goat down. This is a cave, but it is not. Uh... So we don't need this firewood. We'll never be burning that. I didn't know there was a... Um, uh... Lockbox. It's not gonna do much for me either. This is oh, it's a suitcase. It's not a lock. And that oh, I didn't know about these. Okay. Uh, yep, that's nothing. Now, something I had not considered in my "Can you survive without fire?" is going through mines and caves. You would have to have a lantern. The, if I if I can't use a flare then you would have to have a lantern to be able to do them. And I guess lantern fuel technically is a renewable resource. Not easily. But, you know, through fishing you can get more oil for your lantern. This is what I want. Could be interesting, but we're going to go for it. I mean, a sprain is basically guaranteed, but we'll give it a try. This quickly gets to where I, where I will know where kind of where I am. Yeah, I liked it until now. <laughs> A lot of times I find with goading, it's like it's like the last, the very last spot is where it goes sideways. Yeah. Whoop. I expected to get injured there and didn't. What time is it? It's yeah, it's getting to be nighttime. Right on. We're in Echo Ravine. Good. Is this the left coming up that I want? I think it is. Starting to feel. Could have gone to Ash Canyon. Could have gone to um, uh, Fisherman's, whatever it is. But I feel like I'm just going to try to power through to um, uh, uh, Mountaineers. We're not very thirsty yet. Now I've never noticed. If you sprint, does your thirst meter go down? It doesn't. That I can see. Other than eating a salty food, I've never really noticed what would what activity might make your your thirst meter go down faster. I gotta watch out for the bear. Over here. I don't know what I would do if I ran into him. Probably not a lot of options beyond try. I mean, whenever I get uh, whenever I get chased by a bear, my goal is to break his pathing because if he can't get to you, he he gets scared and runs away. Beyond that, I, I don't know that I have a plan. I'm too cold to think. Don't love the low visibility. I'm afraid to jinx the fact that the predators have been very kind to me. There he is. He's over there. All right. So we can stay ahead of him. 
didn't hear the moose, so he might not be up. So there should be a wolf on the ice. Maybe t I don't have uh, I don't have that stuff memorized. I super respect players who do. But I've been having this idea for a while. There's several different things that I want to try to see if you can live on Interloper for 10 days without doing the thing. Um, I have a few of them. Uh, and if you have suggestions or things you'd like, like to see me try, I'm, I'm happy to give it a shot. Um, just throw those in the comments. Um, but this was the first one. Uh, beyond this, I, I have a couple others. I don't want to spoil them, <laughs> but I have a few others. And sometimes it will be, you know, can you lope for 10 days only doing this or never doing this? So this is a never. This is never using flame. Originally, it was just going to be matches. Originally, it was can you, can you lope for 10 days without using a match? But I felt confident that I could. So I changed it to can you, can you do it without, without lighting a fire at all? Now, this could be tricky because uh, mountaineers can be cold. Particularly if your clothes are bad, and our clothes are bad. We may have to power straight through to what I call the space capsule, which is the prepper's cache uh, in uh, Pleasant Valley on the other side of the rope. If Mountaineers is cold, then, then I may decide to do that because the prepper's cache is warm. And I still have enough visibility to make that uh, run. So we may loot this quick and then just leave. Starting to get into that idea, even though she's super cold, because um, that gets us closer to Pleasant Valley. And what is in Pleasant Valley? Toilets. Okay, this is warm, so this is going to make me think about it more. Newsprint, don't need it because I'm never lighting anything. Nothing there. Would we have found matches? There should be. No, I guess they're not guaranteed. I don't know the guaranteed match spawns. No. That looks like a no. One upside of this is we will be much lighter. I'll take it. Oh, wow. Hat and gloves. That's great. There goes Frostbite. Nice. It's not everything. It's the worst hat and the worst gloves. But it's something. Um, I'm a little worried I'm going to miss... There were matches. Leaving them. That feels so wrong. Feels absolutely sacrilegious to leave the matches. You know what? I'm going to put them put them out for the next survivor to find. They want I'll put them on the put them on the pillow. There we go. That's for Will. When Will stops by, it'll be our little calling card that says we were here. All right, um, we are warm. Hmm. So now I got to think about this. We're warm. We have enough. Um, how long until our uh, hypothermia risk goes away? We could stay here just an hour to ditch hypothermia because it might get too cold in here during the night anyway. How cold is it? Take a look. Uh, yeah, minus 1C. We're at 4C, so we're only 3 over. The bed, though, will add 5. I have a night. Look at the weather. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Grab sticks? Why? Don't need them. That, that's an upside to this, is holy cow, are we going to be light? We might never be overburdened. Weirdly, our hypothermia healed for about, or risk healed for about two I've seconds. So <laughs> and it's gone again. I've got just enough visibility to see my way through this. I'm amazed by players who can, who can blizzard walk. That's so impressive to me. That's definitely a skill that I want to gain. But I don't have it now. Not at all. <laughs> I need visibility to be able to move. I've been on streams 
and had uh, Zach, Zach Nefane, on the stream with me and had him direct me in a blizzard through Pleasant Valley to like find the um, um, the Broken River or... No, it's not Broken River. What is it? The, the route between uh, Pleasant Valley and uh, Mystery Lake. And uh, I keep what my brain keeps wanting to make a crumbling river. It's combining zones. Winding river. There we go. I got it. Um, in the blizzard, he directed me. I don't know how he did that. Even now, I'm a little worried that I'm, I'm off. There's the, uh, there's the wheels. The landmark that I depend on. All right, I feel good. Not taking, um, not taking tea or uh, rose hips or anything for tea. Don't need them. Can't make tea. Can't make tea without fire. So this idea certainly makes the game less complex. sleep anyway, so let's try to speed this up here. And inventory management can be a real struggle in the long dark, and it shouldn't be here. Or weight management. Now, without fire, you can't cook meat. So obviously you couldn't live a long time without that. Um, so you're dependent on only eating the food that you find. That's true. I hadn't really thought about that until this moment. But obviously, you can't live 10 days. All right, you can't. Well, we're going to see if you can live 10 days. You can't live 10. You can't live long term uh, without being able to cook uh, predator meat. Like that's just that's just not an option. Or to cook meat in general, not just predator meat. Well, could you, though? So, you could fish for food. Can you stay warm enough while fishing is the question. You can obviously eat cattails. You could go a long time without uh, running out of cattails. Uh, maybe, I don't know. It would be interesting to see just how long you could survive this way. Guess we're gonna see if you can even do 10 days, though. <laughs> well, we've made it out of uh, Timberwolf Mountain, and uh, normally I goat this, but I see no reason not to just take the rope climb. It is interesting to ignore firewood and ignore uh, ignore you know tea or um, birch bark and, and uh, rose hips and mushrooms oh, I went the wrong way you probably can't see much visibility is not great we're not going to be able to see much either when we get in here but we will be warm, and we will not, um, we will not freeze to death tonight. Which we could have in Mountaineers, conceivably. Probably we would have been fine. I've been playing Voyager a lot lately. Uh, myself and the other hobbits have been doing the Goldilocks challenge. And, um, because of that, I've been playing a lot of Voyager. And... <laughs> This loot is not Voyager, that's for sure. Now, we have no water. We do have this can of dog food, 22%. Uh, you know what? You might as well eat it now. Roll the dice on it. All right. Get some uh, liquid from that, too. Okay, so I want to get up in eight hours. Sounds like there was an aurora, or there is an aurora right now. 
Yeah, there's an aurora right at this moment. It is not daytime. We are now currently thirsty. Need water. Yes. I'm familiar with this problem, Astrid. It is, however, too dark for us to leave. I guess when you say, can I lope for 10 days without fire, you are somewhat also saying without water, at least until you reach civilization. I should also kind of say that um, I don't position myself as a long target expert. Um, I've been playing the game for about a year and a half. I play almost exclusively on stream. Like, this is already the longest long dark session I've done offline ever. And so I've learned everything that I, you know, what I do know, I have learned on stream in front of Twitch. And, uh, you know, I've gone from somebody who could kind of survive at Voyager to someone, you know, my current PB on Loper is 170 something days. It's an active run. 180 days, I think. So I think I'm decent. Um, there are things I know. There are things I don't know. Uh, I I feel like there are th my map because people will come in sometimes to my chat uh, in Twitch and they'll say, "Oh, done, you're a loper now." I feel like no, not until I have the map knowledge, and I don't have it everywhere. Some maps I know better than others. Some maps I don't really know well at all. Black Rock. I forced myself to learn HRV recently, and I was very happy with that, but I don't know all of it. I know enough to go into HRV, get to the signal fire, and, you know, get the bed... If I spawn in HRV, I know how to get the bed roll. Um, that's about it. Ash Canyon. I know how to get up to the backpack, and I know how to go over to, like, Boris and everything, but I, there's parts of Ash Canyon I don't know. Don't need to break these down. Don't need to break this down. I guess I'm just kind of waiting for light now. I might pop out and just go look in the um, uh, the little house here. Or, or well, yeah, I don't want to go very far in this one. I was going to say, visibility is great. That's true. Nothing. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. Maybe I could check the cars. This feels really, really risky. But I am a fairly aggressive player. I think that's part of my play style, is to take chances. Nope. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Now, I don't have much experience with the, um... Ooh, he's moving. With the, um... With the wolves. Now, I'm pretty sure if I go on the rope... He'll give up. Yeah, he gave up for a sec. Well, then we'll just stay here. <laughs> we will just stay here. I'll take... Wow, somehow I used up two hours of energy there. Take that. We're going to take some damage from Thirst. Still an Aurora. Uh, I guess we can drop this can. We don't need it. Beyond that, I mean, this is literally our inventory. I, it's so weird to have my inventory be so small. Uh, I didn't fully warm up. That's disappointing. Maybe I'll wait one hour. We're definitely going to need to get some water.
All right, well, we got the visibility anyway. Now, I am not great at getting to um, the farmhouse from here. I always think it's a little different than it is. I know a lot of people go plane crash right from here. Uh, I wonder if that's a good move for us. I feel like the priority is getting something to drink. There's going to be clothing at the farmhouse. It may not be great, but it will be better than what we have. Obviously, there's more clothing available at the plane crash. But I feel like I'm going to stick with my plan of trying to get to the farmhouse or barn. But know. the barn doesn't have a toilet. Like the I farmhouse has a toilet. Night. Now, I've never thought about this, about <laughs> rationing water. <laughs> about not keeping her water meter full, but just giving her enough water that she's not, you know, almost like starvation for water. Don't know if it'll work. I always love the woodpecker sound. We have a lot of woodpeckers in our area, so you hear that sound often. My fingers feel numb. Yeah, I know. You are going to be cold. Cold and thirsty. Man, a soda would be great right now, wouldn't it? Now, I'll play this as if I was going to keep going, so I will take feathers. Hard to imagine foraging in this scenario, but um, you never know. It's a goddamn freezing. Yep, we got what I would call double bingo now. With this kind of clear visibility, I can clearly see the route to the farmhouse, so I'm going to go try to go straight for it. PV is a very intimidating zone. It's a very, very big... I always call them zones, like my MMO background, but... Very intimidating map. a goat that I hope I won't regret. Very solid. Until it didn't. <laughs> Great, Astrid. Fantastic. All right, I mean, we're definitely taking some cold damage here and some thirst damage. We're, you know, I think full condition is something we're just gonna have to get used to not having. And like I said, the question isn't, can you play Interloper without using fire? Because I think probably, maybe, maybe you can. I don't know what the cap is on how long you could live. Um, probably at some point, the cold and the inability to use teas would cap your ability to go out and get resources to keep yourself alive, you know, particularly in fishing. Because, yeah, you could, because you can't cook meat. Well, no, no, hang on. You can't eat the fish either. <laughs> so it's cattails. And 
that's it. So I guess it's more of a question of how long could you make cattails last? Cattails and found food, because obviously you still have to right you have to cook the fish. So my original premise of how long can you live without matches is probably a better one, and it's probably that answer is close to indefinitely. But the question that I'm trying to answer here with this series isn't can you live on interloper forever without fire? Because I think in general the answer is no. The question is can you live for 10 days? And the reason for asking it is if you can or if I can learn the strategies that keep me alive for 10 days without matches, without fire, then that can help me in loper starts where I struggle to find that resource. It's just, there are going to be times on Interloper, particularly early, when you just don't have the things you need and you have to have a backup plan of how to live without them. Watch this fog roll in. Wow, did that come in strong and quick. I had so much visibility 60 seconds ago. And it is gone. Fortunately, I feel pretty good about my direction. Other than the fact that now I can't see the wolves that might be in front of me. Hopefully, it doesn't get any worse than this. Itch on my ear. I have so much trouble with PV and second guessing myself here. We'll probably risk some. Sprinting. Now, normally I'm more excited to see a carcass than a dead guy, but now I'm more excited to see a dead guy than a carcass. Still take these. What were you guys flying on? Oh, here it is. Hey, dude, I will take those. This will come in. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's let's get back. To what, every little bit helps. You look amazing, Master. You look fantastic. All right, what I always look for is the top of the silo, and I think I just saw it. There it is. Pretty distinctive. These trees are also, these orchard trees are also a good, good landmark. These trees are also in, um, um, musk egg. At a spot I call Spengler's Gulch generally referred to as Spencer's Farm, I think. I have a hard time remembering names, so I just kind of come up with my own names. Well, we made it, and we're at about 50%. Um, I mean, sure. Happy to be here. Take me directly to the bathroom. Not a lot, but it's something. What we really need to do is get down to Pleasantville. Let's have a drink. Now, a full drink? So a full drink, let's see, we had 158 of water. So a full drink gets us, it used about 6. 1.58, now we're at 0 0.92, so it's about 6 liters. I'll take that, or about, about 0 0.6. A little more than half a liter. Take those socks. See, things are looking up. Things looking up. I'm a cloth nut. I love to have a lot of cloth on me. And since we have so much less weight that we'll be carrying around, it's like less of a problem. I should have eaten those chips first before I drank. Oh, I'm starving. I regret. Okay, so a lot of our recipes probably won't work. 
possibly none of them. It would be very hard to raise your cooking skill, if not impossible to raise your cooking skill. Yeah, but I guess handy. where where is the need to raise it? You can't cook anything anyway. <laughs> That's not what's the point. You don't need to raise your cooking skill. I will have that syrup right now. Hey, where'd that syrup go? Is it bad? No. Eat that. There we go. That's a big help. Yeah. What do you need cooking skill for if you can't cook Nobody anything? Nobody needs this anymore. Uh, I mean, could be something fully cooked. Or nothing. Super cool. Right now, I'm putting shit on as soon as I get it. Flat hat. It's not the flat hat anymore, but I still call it the flat hat. It, the, the image of it used to be flat. Hey, can opener. That's helpful. Now, I'm thinking if I had come here with the intention of using matches and I didn't find any, I would be very disappointed. <laughs> you check this. Nothing. Get over here. Ah! Mana from heaven is soda. Holy cow, soda's huge. If I don't find a lantern, because I'm thinking about wanting to go to um, Mystery Lake. But if I don't find a lantern, then I would have to go via... Hmm, let's think about this now, actually. I don't think there's a non-tunnel way out. There's... The, the coastal is a, is a mine. Mystery Lake is a cave. We can't go to Black Rock, but I don't want to go to Black Rock. I don't know. If I get out of Black Rock. I guess I may have to go that direction. Um, you know, if I if I can't find any light sources. Chips will only be eaten when we are out of water. Same thing with saltines. So that we don't take any of our precious water away. Second toilet. Very full. That's great. Gotta be careful with that water, though. I tend to overdrink, you know. Like, to not be very judicious with water, particularly, you know, when I say overdrink, I mean I will, um, I will drink water and then eat food. And I should be doing it in the reverse order. So if nothing else, this challenge may help me remember to do that more often. Now, I would, part of me really wants to rest and regain condition. But I don't think I can afford to stay in one place that long. We'll see. In Pleasant Valley, I don't need that. I don't need that book. Drop that immediately. Uh, in Pleasant Valley, weather makes your decisions for you or it makes my decisions for me. Weather will tell me if I'm leaving or not. So when you have good weather in Pleasant Valley, I feel like the obligation to take advantage of it. And by good weather, I mean visibility. 
It's gonna be cold. It. I'm not impressed. <laughs> I wanted more than this. So be it. Down to the basement. I mean, at least give me some potato. Well, I can't eat a potato. Give me a carrot or something. What happened? I think there's a vegetable um, thing in the basement. Hopefully that'll have some carrots. I can't do anything with a potato. There's been no uh, light source. The replacement fuse don't care. Metal shelf. I'm somewhat text searching here. Bandage is helpful. Great. Great. Television. This definitely makes looting harder, is you just can't freaking see. Now, there used to be matches here. It's been a while. Sometimes they're over on the other, uh, the, it's like a, um, a metal shelf over here. Sometimes they're there. Wow, I cannot see shit. This is much harder than I thought it was going to be. Where's the little vegetable thingy? I could have, there it is. I could have cheated and like turned my contrast or something up. Oh, that's good carrots. Carrots. They don't have much calories though, but it's something. That was a... Uh, <laughs> man, I can't see a thing. The other question is, do we leave Pleasant Valley without hitting the plane crash and all of its wonderful clothes. I often do that. Instead of running to Pleasantville, should we be running over this to the plane crash? Handy. I'm not good at that route, though. All right, we got our, our bonus up to six. Where we can. What is the weather and predator situation like? Navigable weather. We could also go up to Signal Hill, which often has good stuff. I think I'm into that plan. Hit the little barn. We want to prioritize high, high flat, flat routes where we can see better so that we don't get surprised by wolves. Right now, a wolf struggle, I'm dead. Uh, I probably don't survive. Good clothing is even more important with this because we have no other way to generate warmth. So we just have to make sure we don't get as cold. There is sometimes a rabbit hat in the attic here. That would be very, very helpful. I wish you didn't, like, I wish this didn't take as long as it takes, but I get very self-conscious about pacing. When I'm streaming, I sometimes, I think some of my aggressive playstyle comes from the fact that I stream, and I feel like I got to be putting on a show. I can't, uh, I can't have these slow-paced moments, although I've come to accept that that's part of the game. Thanks for nothing, but the hat was here. 
That is a very helpful condition. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Really good. 100%. Wouldn't be better. Another backpack, or another vest, excuse me. So we will drop the flat hats. Or not use them. Ooh, wow, that's huge. Okay, this is four, this is six, so wear that one. I never knew that these were different. I never paid attention to this. The down vest versus the sports vest makes sense. All right. We're getting there. Okay, anything else in here? Nope, nope, nope. The answer is no. Ah, lantern fuel. Lantern, but it's a thing. I've never heard that noise. All right, so we'll take a shot at Signal Hill here, then hop on over to Pleasantville. Pleasantville is, uh, what is it, Thompson's Crossing? Like I said, I have my own words for everything. <laughs> and it's mostly because I just have a bad memory. So I, I like, I see the, you know, when you go into a location, it'll say what something is. I see that, but then I just kind of forget it. if this rope is always here, but I don't want to use it anyway. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Wow, that was close. That was extremely close. <laughs> as long as he's not home. We uh, take a look around, do you there, buddy? As long as he's out on a walkabout. Unless he set up some alarm or something. Yeah, we do need these. Yeah, keep going there, dude. You leave me anything? Nothing. What a loser. You left me bupkiss. I think we're going to need a lot of rocks. Don't need that. Not going to take that. We're not going to take it anymore. Hey, 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 hey. Got to warm up somehow. No change in your directions there, dude. I absolutely cannot get up this hill without spraining. I think it's ever happened. There we go. All right, let's just get it out of the way, right? Astrid. Didn't mean sprain again. Glass ankles aspirin, man. Ah. That sparks a bit. Yeah, I know. We'll take care of that. Your wrist just gonna have to fix itself. I'm going the right way. Maybe not. 
One of my weaknesses in the long dark is that I get disoriented very easily. I also sprint more than I should. Fog is not helping. Blur is not helping, but I got it right. I get nervous and I sprint because I want to get to where I'm going. So, if I look at my Steam uh, like totals, I think I have like 1,200, 1,300 hours in the game, but that's not actually true. A lot of times the game is running in the background and I'm not actually playing. I'm like just doing work or something. And I just didn't shut it down. And I have hours and hours and hours of will stand still sessions, which aren't really gameplay. Think about his food. There's no reason to go for well fed here. But the, the argument is not necessarily for the well fed benefit, but because you're probably going to be losing health to thirst. So maybe don't lose health to both. But I think right now we're decent on water. I mean, it's not going to last. Is it just fine? Okay. Yeah. Wires. What I want is a lantern. Without a lantern, we're going to have a hard time getting out of here. Even here, it's hard for me to loot. Placement fuse. Search the container. Uh, dog food, sure. Let's eat that if it's in decent condition. We've got the can opener. I believe dog food gives you some thirst. Or like gives you liquid. Yes, a tiny amount. I think I can use this. The other two are locked. Cheeky hiding around here. 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 Guess I could have that soda I found. There's no reason to carry it around and carry that weight. Not that the weight is, our weight is probably ridiculously low. Yeah, 10. Like the lightest I've ever been. Sewing kit. Often choosing. I'll take it. Ooh, wow. That was helpful. Holy cow, that's huge. 100%? Lantern, though. I see that uh, sardines. Huh. What have we here? Death fish. Soup. That's it, huh? Coffee. No reason to take it. I'm worried, oh, flare, can't use it. I'm worried there's something I'm missing due to the low light. Time of day, I could stay here one hour just to warm up. The weather might get worse. That's always the problem with Pleasant Valley. But I've lost so much condition. I probably can't make it to 
Um, Pleasantville. But I maybe could make it to the barn. The big barn. Sleep there. Wondering if I should grab an hour. Going to to warm up. I may regret this. That's the thing I like about the long dark. It's, it's all choices. So do I do this? Do I do that? 20 hours, 40, 50 minutes. The weather got... Mm, I'm going to say it's about the same. Might be a bit funky. Uh, hopping around Pleasant Valley without being able to see where the bear is. I feel like if I go this way, I should have a straight shot to the road. God, yeah, the fog is definitely working. Straight shot, straight shot. Just keep. I'm like trying to pep talk myself here. Keep heading forward, you should hit the road. I did. The temperature is fantastic. be able to get to the large barn from here. What I'm thinking. <laughs> we'll see. If not, I'll just end up in Pleasantville, which isn't the worst thing. It might even be smarter to just go straight through because I can easily get back to the barn from Pleasantville. Pull to the right here a bit, in case there's wolves at the perimeter of the uh, farm area. Those who uh, watch me a lot on Twitch uh, are used to a certain kind of zaniness during my gameplay. I don't know, that may be overstated, but um, I'm, I'm more subdued here because I'm very interested in this. I'm very interested in can I do this. I have no idea if this will work. And... Um, I just I I think it's an interesting question. Uh, it, it's forcing me to look at the game in a completely different way, and that's fun to me. Uh, when you have put this amount of time into a game, uh, you know this. Some games can become stale. Uh, I can't really imagine the long dark ever getting stale because it's so big and there's so much to it, and there's so much I still don't know. I have good memories of this car. When I was playing episode three, I had a fun time bringing one of the survivors, Wade, to this car and then <laughs> throwing him. Because I realized you could drop the survivors and like throwing him up on, on the car was very funny to me. I then started throwing him off bridges and he survives all of that. The fall doesn't hurt him at all. Yeah, I wonder if I could stay at the edge here. Will I see the barn? Hot fire. 
Uh, I don't know. I don't think so, and I don't want to lose the road. I'm sprinting a ton. I really shouldn't. So I'm watching the arrows, and like when you do stuff, the arrows on the four meters. You can do stuff that will make your your hunger meter drop by more than one arrow, because it has a constant, you know, low level drop, um, or your stamina meter. Um, but I don't see anything that makes your thirst meter go down faster. It seems to be just a constant. No exertion, no physical activity seems to make you get more thirsty. Because I was thinking oh, about this as a fire me. challenge, and obviously it's not a fire challenge, it's a no fire challenge. It really makes it kind of a water challenge. At least in the short term. Long term, I'm still dubious. You know, obviously you can live a long time just on cattails and, and um, found food. And I don't know what comes in on uh, beach combing. I don't think. Does man-made food come in on beach combing? Crackers or something? Maybe. If fish come in, I'm sure they're not cooked. I wish you could get heat off the signal fire in HRV because that would be interesting to you know bring like meat to HRV to cook it but uh, you can't now what about during an aurora we've long talked about you know microwaves and things like that should work during an aurora they don't um, there's no, no, there's no way to cook food other than a fire, a stove, or a campfire. And, um, without them. Now, can you make Bannock without fire? I kind of think you can. Maybe. I, I don't know. I, I want to look at that once we get into the uh, bingo parlor here. Well, actually, I think I'm going to go to the gas station first. A uh, good friend of mine, Peach B, and I and her husband all feel that the matches in uh, the gas station here are guaranteed. They're not always in the same place. Take those over. that sewing kit. See if uh, it matches here. There's a vegetable thing here, too. A liar out of me. Potato. Oh, there they are. We'll leave those out for Will. Will, we were here, buddy. Here, it's very obvious you can see them there. Man, we need a crowbar. Carrot. Don't care about a potato, leaving it. Same, same, same. Microwave. Did I check that? That's it, huh? That would seem to be it. Very well. Um. Why do I feel like there was something I needed to do on what I found? Yes, not. Oh, I was going to check the recipes. Duh. That's right. Um, Bannock. Do you need water? You do you need water. We did technically we have water. You don't see these say you. They don't. Do they say you need a cooking fire? It doesn't actually say cooking fire. Time to cook. Cooking pot recipes. Cooking skillet recipes. Recycled can recipes. What is that? 
Because I'm wondering, is there any food that you can make without fire? I guess we'll find out. I had said that I would do probably one or two days apart, but I think I'm going to do one day up. Well, I think I'm just going to have my parts be, you know, more based on recording time. I thought I would get through this faster than I am. To another of life's greatest treasures, the toilet. I always think it's an interesting touch that you have to open them, of course. All right, one and a half liters here. Our total water is probably the heaviest thing we're carrying. Yep, 4.3. I'll take an old. There's one more toilet in town. Now that's a big help right there. These stupid dress shoes. Get out of here. They're good shape too. The dress shoes weirdly are slightly warmer. Garrett, you know what? I might just let you eat that, Astrid, since you're so hungry. Go through the drawers. Emergencies only. Surrounded by snow and nothing to drink. You should be saying, carrying four and a half liters, and he won't let me drink. No lanterns. Uh, I don't need that quick flame unless that unless that can be used to refuel your uh, lantern. I don't think so, but we could try to power through the cave without a lantern. That could be an interesting experience. I've never found anything in that. That weird microwave that opens from the bottom. A lot of food. That's all she wrote in here, I think. I always go up here, but I never really... This will come in handy. Take a look. It's better against the wind. That's it. It's significantly better against the wind. Maybe repaired, it's better altogether. Try repairing that. Give it another try. You could eat anything. 62%. I kind of bet that this is better long term. These socks, we'll check that situation. One area I really do like to min max is my, uh, my clothing. 
All right, so technically that's better, but after repair, I want to check the office while there's still light to do so. I would drink just about anything right yeah, now. Yeah, we need a big, big eat and a big drink for this this sleeping session. That was great. Um, so that we can get some of our condition back. on chips man all right one more loot i am gonna let her drink here and i guess i'll let her eat again just enough that we don't i uh, get out of it it's not that i want well fed per se it's that i just don't want multiple uh outages I don't want to lose more condition. And what I wouldn't give for a damn lantern. Another toilet in this house. I think this is the last toilet in uh, Pleasant Valley. And if we were thinking strictly about water, the better move would be to go to Coastal. Coastal has more toilets in it than Mystery Lake. Does it, though? Mystery Lake has two in the dam. Coastal has gas station. I think Misanthropes and Rabbit Island or whatever it is, I think they both do as well. Interesting. I've never, you know. It's funny. We did a challenge around this Christmas time called uh, the Santa Cloth Challenge. And part of the Santa Cloth Challenge was leaving cloth hats by fireplaces. And so you had to think about what places have, you know, what places in the game have a fireplace. And it was... It was an interesting exercise. It made you look at the game differently. I like stuff like that. And uh, this feels that way to me, too. This will come in handy. Nope, don't need that. Can't cook it. All right, I think I will finish. I will get to the bedroom here if I can figure it out. No light sources. I need to lay down. Bed. Oh, found it. Big drink. Big eat. Again, I should have eaten first. So I'm going to eat things that contain liquid so that my thirst doesn't go down. Although I guess I'm wasting the liquid. But you get more... Um, You, you lose more thirst from eating something like crackers than you gain from having something like soup, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's go the full 10. Try to get some good condition to gain. One day, 11 hours, 25 minutes is where we are at. So I think it's fair enough to call this days one and two. I could eat anything right now. And our condition is great. That that really came back really, really nicely. So I think I'm going to take that save. And I think I'm going to call this one here. I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, I'm going to try to get uh, a part for this out every day or two. Or, you know, every other day, every couple days. It depends on my schedule with books and various things that are happening. But I hope you're enjoying this. It's an interesting exercise. I'm having a good time with it. If you're enjoying this and you want to give it a like, that really helps. You want to leave a comment, that also helps. And subscribing helps me a great deal. That's going to do it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay safe. Take care of each other. See you next time. Bye-bye.